Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Renee Robin and I am going to help you out today with working on a 16-bit image and still being able to use the plugin uh, Particle Shop made by Corel. So how I work around it, of course the plugin only works in 8-bit uh, image uh, color space. So that's a problem for a lot of photographers because we like to work in 16-bit which allows us more colors and a wider range of the rainbow. So how I, how I work with that is I have two files open the exact same. And one of them is in 16-bit, so we go image, mode, 16-bit. And then I have another one here, image, mode, 8-bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this layer. I'm going to go Control or Command J, uh, depending on your, if you're PC or Mac. And I'm going to go into Filter, Painter, Particle Shop. So right now here it says, uh, we recommend you create a copy of the selected layer, object, or image before you paint in Particle Shop. Do you want to return to your application and create a copy now? So I have duplicated my layer here, so I'm going to go launch Particle Shop. So here we are, uh, and the plugin of course is loaded, so I've selected a brush called Burnout, it's in the superhero options, and I've also selected this kind of nice cyan -y tone uh, color. So in this case, I'm not going to do any crazy high art stuff today. It's just going to look kind of, I'm just adding a little bit of filler to the scene. Um, I really like the way the brushes behave in Particle Shop because I can't get brushes to behave quite the same way because these act kind of a little bit with a 3D feel to them. So um, they kind of dance and move all over the place in ways that I haven't been able to make the brushes work in Photoshop myself. So I'm just going to add just a little bit of stuff here like drapery kind of thing and uh, this is just to show you guys how I've kind of worked around it so let's stick with that I'm gonna go save and here it's gonna say do you want to apply the brush strokes that you've added in product shop so we can merge the brush strokes with the source content which of course is gonna flatten our image or we can go save only brush strokes which is for non-destructive editing which is of course what we're doing here so I'm gonna say Save only brush strokes, hit OK. And now what we have here, which is cool, is that Particle Shop spits it out onto a transparent layer, which is really, really nice. So the bonus of this is now I can go Control or Command A, which is going to go select all, select the whole image, copy, which is Control or Command C. And then we're going to go over here to our 16-bit image and go Control shift v or Command shift v v as in Victor, which is Paste. Um, and now what we have is we have a Particle Shop layer over top of a 16-bit uh, image, which is super nice. So now some people are going to say, oh, well, what if I do a lot of, you know, color work and so on and so forth. So let's take this a little, like, one step further. And let's just play with these colors a little bit. I'm just kind of randomly picking some stuff. Maybe some yellows are nicer in that. And let's go hue saturation. I don't know. That looks not too bad. Desaturated a bit. Okay. So this is purely for just because. So now we have some color modifications and so on and so forth. Okay, well we want to add more particle shop stuff to this. So how do we do that? Well, once again, it's an extra step, but that's okay. We can go Alt, Command, Shift, E. So E is in Elvis. Um, or Alt, Control, Shift, E for PC users. So what we've done is we've created a merge layer on top of everything else. Same thing as before. Select the whole image, Control or Command A, copy, Control or Command C, and Control Shift V or Command Shift V. Now, what we can do from here is remember how we can load this up into Particle Shop, so we can just duplicate this and go, so that's duplicating goes is Command or Control J on your keyboard, Filter, Painter, Particle Shop. So here we go again, we ask this question, doesn't matter, launch particle shop, we've already duplicated our layer. So let's use a similar kind of thing. Let's just say we wanted to paint a little bit of that blue tone back on top of it because we liked it. Just make it a little bit thicker and I'm just kind of 
lightly taking some color here. Make that a little more pale. Okay, so now we have this, we're gonna go save. Save only the brush strokes. So we just want the brush strokes that we just made, which is handy. We have our transparent layer again. So here we have just our brush strokes that we made in Particle Shop just now. Select the whole image, Command or Control A, copy, Command or Control C, and then paste, Control Shift V. And so that's kind of how, and I'll delete this merge layer here. So that's kind of how I work non-destructively using Particle Shop. Um, you know, it does involve an extra step, but that's okay because I really like how the brushes work um, because I can't quite get Photoshop brushes to behave quite the same way. So a little bit of a sneaky tip. Uh, one thing that happens a lot with these Photoshop brushes or the Particle Shop brushes, apologies, um, is that sometimes the brushes are sharper than my entire image. So it might, they might not be sharper than my focus point, but they'll be sharper than everything else in my shot. And so it's something that can make the image seem a little bit unrealistic. I mean, not that this looks realistic, but uh, I don't necessarily want the textures in my image to be sharper than my focus point and my subject itself. So what I'll usually do is I will take my particle shop layers and I'll go filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'll usually blur them about two pixels so that they are just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit softer and they blend in just a little bit nicer into my image. So uh, that's kind of how you have it. Uh, done two ways, of course, we're going back and forth. So uh, have an 8-bit version of your image open and a 16-bit version and then make sure you duplicate your layers so that we can just always have those transparent layers to drag over top of our other image. So I hope that helps and have an awesome day. <laughs>